Hello, today's video is all about incubating eggs. After some consideration, we decided to buy the Brinsey brand of incubators. Um, it's the first time we're actually incubating the eggs. These are smaller eggs. They probably look bigger now in the video. They're actually the Polish chickens we've got because they were fertilized eggs, so we thought we'll have a go. Um, I was actually going to mark them with permanent marker but my other half had said to me that it's best if you use a pencil so um, on one side as you can see there are little hearts and on the other side we've done smiley faces because then you have to turn them once every 24 hours the room temperature which we've got there has to be um, I think it's not below 18 and just about 23-24 and it's getting to 24 because today it's, it's quite it's been quite a warm day and the evening's quite warm too. Um, the Brinsey incubator so far actually it's now been it today is the seventh day that we have the eggs in. I didn't make the video earlier on because I wasn't sure if we've actually set up the incubator correctly. Well, to be surprised, we actually candled them. For people who don't know, candling is when you get a torch. And you put it underneath the egg um, in a dark room and then you can actually see like spider webs, like little veins and then you can see black dots moving around in the egg which is the actual embryo there which um, I found quite uh, well it brought back some memories let's say so the room before actually I had an electric heater in here actually an oil heater which then regulated the room's temperature with this incubator, actually, I was quite happy with how quick the setup was. There is a little um, pot here which you put water in, which actually feeds through the machine. So we generally top that up and that keeps it going. The thermometer is actually already set for um, chicken eggs. So we didn't actually fiddle with the thermometer either. I know they have different settings so you can change them if you have different eggs that you want to put in the incubator all together we've got 10 eggs and today actually because it's the seventh day we, we were looking into it you should actually do the candling on the seventh day and we did today so we actually do have little embryos in them eggs and um, the incubator oh, I wouldn't Possibly you could say it's expensive. There were lots of other brands that were available that were from China, but then the reviews wasn't that good. And I would definitely buy an incubator like this. I would recommend it. But the only thing is, can you see around here that um, cardboard? They only supply one. So either if you just get a template of it and then cut your own out, out of cardboard, which I don't think would be too hard, or you can buy replacements too but I'm really happy with this uh, today it's been really wonderful when we found out we've actually probably all 10 eggs have got embryos in them some actually we put in maybe a day later I can't remember exactly but I will not every day but I will make an update closer to when they're going to hatch or maybe I'll try to make a video of the candling as well um, in a couple of days. I think about the 23rd is when the chicks are going to hatch around that time. So I don't actually want to disturb the eggs too much because we've already turned them. I will probably make a video soon of when I'm turning them so then you can see the smiles at the top. And um, I think it's, I think some of them are dated actually. Here yeah, you can see the dates on some of them there. But so far, so good. I'm very happy with my purchase and I cannot wait for the baby Polish chicks because um, you'll see a little picture of my uh, Polish chickens. Uh, my chicken, Dizzy, she is absolutely beautiful. And um, the cockerel, Max, he, is, looks, he looks just as majestic. So I can't wait to see what these little ones are going to look like. So that's all for today and hopefully... I'll make a video soon. Bye.